Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to do a double doll review, something I've never done before. Can this focus on Phoebe? Thank you. This is my class Phoebe Bratz doll. She's very incomplete, but um, I like her. But she's not the focus. Today, I wanted to review two Rainbow High Junior High dolls, because, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to tackle two of them at once, so let's get them out here. I've actually had these two for a while. It's uh, Violet and Poppy. Well, Poppy I just got recently. I went to Walmart with my friends and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I want Poppy. So, um, yeah. Today, we're gonna be reviewing both of them because I figured it'd be fun. Let's go. Welcome to my makeshift review center where we have dolls I haven't unboxed yet in the background and a thing that I will never open as the floor. And now they're on top of the thing. So Poppy and Violet's boxes are virtually the same. I'd say the only differing things is the artworks because they're different characters, but also because the junior high artworks only have three characters on the back. And we got lucky enough that all six of them are present here. We've got Jade, Skylar, and Violet on Violet's box, and Ruby, Poppy, and Sunny on Poppy's box. It says, go back in time and meet your favorite students before they became friends and followed their creative dreams to Rainbow High. And then Violet says a ton of stuff because it's the international variant. So we have both. Isn't that fun? There's nothing really unique about either box. They're both the same, but with a different character inside. So I don't want to waste too much time on them. And instead, let's just get right to freeing them both of their plastic prisons. I started first with Poppy, and I ended up ripping most of the front of her box off, so I figured we may as well just go all the way. It's like a box top. Right out of the box, she has that uh, classic Rainbow High new box smell. Uh, it was most prevalent when I was first unboxing these dolls, like with Series 1 and 2, but uh, it's back all of a sudden. That's fun. Her backpack is covered in buzzwords. I see magic, rainbow, and sparkle, but rainbow is spelled backwards for some reason. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Because I did. It's pretty well made, though. I really like the junior high backpacks. They're all very well assembled, and she's got this cute little monarch butterfly patch there. That's adorable. So Tiny Poppy is now free, and her hair has so much glue in it, it's unholy. She's super cute, though. I seem to have gotten a variant that does not have very much glitter eye makeup. Which was better for me, because I didn't really like it, so I like her. She's got two monarch butterfly bows, and she needs her hair washed so bad, it's- wow. Why do you have so much glue in your hair? I'm gonna try not to decimate Violet's box the way I did Poppy's, so best of luck to me. And there we go. Proof that I am capable of opening a box without ripping it to shreds. Just like Poppy, Violet is very cute. She has a lot of glue in her hair, specifically her bangs, as well as her pigtails. You can probably hear that crunch. Violet's backpack is really cute, it says RH here, and it says rainbow underneath. It's embroidered on, but it says rainbow. That's actually a pretty cute detail. It's got nice straps, it says rainbow back here as well. Basically this thing is just, all the branding that could have gone on Violet instead went on her backpack. And I much prefer it that way. Uh, Poppy did the same thing, so good for them. Something I noticed about these two boxes is that since Violet's is international and hers is not, Poppy's box actually had one of those like MGA like customer forms in here. Violet did not have one of those. I just left it in there, it's buried under everything, but Poppy's box is the non-international variant and had that like form with the QR code you can scan inside, and this one is the international variant and did not have that form, so. I don't know, I feel like that says a lot about MGA as a company. So here are both dolls, and overall they're in really good shape. Obviously, because they're fresh, fresh out of the, fresh out of the box. I hope they're in good shape, fresh out of the box. Both of their neck articulation is very fluid, works very well easily holds a pose, no matter what the position. Their arms and legs, I'd say their legs are stiffer than their arms are. I find it very easy to like move the doll's arms and pose them, there's no stiffness at all, not even at the wrist, which sometimes there is wrist stiffness in the larger dolls. 
Um, overall, these dolls are very, very well articulated. I like the tiny ones. They're very cute. And I'm glad to see that their joints work so well, because sometimes with tinier dolls, they stop putting in effort, and they limit articulation because it's cheaper. Can I think of an example where that happened? No! I'm just making stuff up. I guess we may as well focus on Poppy first since I unboxed her first, so we're gonna start by giving the spotlight to her. Poppy's in really nice shape overall. She has a cute hairstyle with two braids that lead into her little butterfly bows. They're very cute. They're kind of similar to her cheer butterfly bow, but I think that they're different. I have the cheer doll right here. Her cheer bow is much larger and has a bunch of little gems studded on it. This bow, meanwhile, is much smaller and is not like a double part bow the way the other one is. Overall, they're different, but they are like a slightly similar. It's cute though. Feels like a reference in a way. Poppy is such a cute character. There's a lot of glue in her hair, so I can't properly like describe it, but I've always loved the blend of colors in Poppy's hair. The orange and the pink, it's very cute. It's been kept consistent across all of her dolls. This doll has very light makeup, which makes sense since she's a middle schooler. And overall, it's really cute. I like the way her eyebrows look. They look like they kind of fade going inward. I thought it was cute. Overall, I think Poppy's one of my favorite um, junior high dolls overall. Her outfit's really cute as well. I believe that this is a separate piece from the orange tank top underneath. Yeah. So this piece and her orange tank top underneath is separate. Once again, the monarch butterfly wings. There's little hearts on it is the inspiration for her sleeves. She has plain white shorts. If we pull up her shirt a little, you can see that there's like a little button. There's little belt loops, actual pockets. Very cute and very detailed. We get down to her shoes and she has little boots. It kind of reminds me of Delilah's boots in a way. Feels like this is the vibe they were going for even though Delilah has cowgirl boots. Painted on laces, little daisies all over, and no rainbow branding on the soles, thank God. Overall, this outfit's adorable. She's one of my favorite junior high dolls, as I mentioned. Her style is just so casual and realistic. I love it. So Violet's pretty cute. Her hair has a lot of glue in it. Very crunchy, needs to be washed. Um, her outfit is based on what Britney Spears wore in the Baby One More Time video. And I've seen criticism of that fact because this is a middle school character. Don't worry, I agree with you guys. It's a little weird that they picked to give this outfit to a middle school Violet, but I do think that they toned it down in terms of how sexualized it was in the original video, and it looks much more cutesy. They gave her this cute little cardigan, this little shirt, which does not have a functioning button. Her skirt is longer than it would have been in the Britney Spears video, I believe, and overall I just think that they did the best they could to make this outfit more appropriate for a doll that is supposed to be very young. I like these furry scrunchies a lot. They're cute. I could honestly see myself taking them from her and just giving them to another doll. I really like them. She has a lot of cute accessories overall. Um, I really like the print of this skirt. It's kind of like a plaid, I think. I don't know. I don't think this is plaid. Whatever it is, I like it. She's overall very cute. Her makeup's pretty casual with just like some dark eyeshadow as well as some glitter eyeshadow. She has a neutral lip and no piercings. These dolls don't have earring holes. She also wears thigh high uh, sheer socks and these cute little heels. They're cute. There's no rainbow branding anywhere on her outfit, which makes sense because she does not yet attend rainbow high. The only rainbow branding on Violet is present on her backpack, which we've already gone over. RH there, rainbow down there, and rainbow up here. That's it though. Both dolls also include brushes. We get dark purple for Violet and a bright neon almost orange for Poppy. Have we gone over everything with you two already? Poppy has little orange painted nails while Violet has white nails. I'll admit, I don't understand why they give Violet white nails, but I'm not against it. It's cute. Overall, I really like these two. The junior high dolls are really cute. I feel like wave two has kind of fallen flat, but I'm still gonna buy Bella. 
Overall, I really like them. These dolls are super cute, they're super tiny, and let me get a full-size one in here com for comparison. Bringing in Cheer Poppy yet again, because she's the nearest place stand. So yeah, there's a clear size difference. The larger Rainbow High dolls are much larger. I like them. I like little teeny tiny dolls, and these two are no, no exception. I love being able to speak English good. Overall, these two are adorable. I love the Junior High dolls, and I'm definitely looking forward to Series 2. And maybe someday I'll get Sunny, because i that's the last one that I like. Ruby and Skyler are very, very boring. These dolls are currently on sale at stores like Target. I don't think they're on sale at Walmart, so I probably overpaid for Poppy. But they're on sale at Target right now, so if you guys are interested in them, I definitely suggest getting them. They're cute, and I believe they're on sale for like 15 bucks, which is honestly what they're worth. They don't come with doll stands, and they only have one outfit, so I feel like $25 was overkill. But overall, I really like them a lot, and I definitely recommend them to anyone who might want them. Thank you all so much for watching this review, and as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!